God all the glory for what he's done for my daughter and our family. Oh, hey! He gets first in everything, and he gets acknowledged first. So, um, I'm Eugenia, and I am Elena's mom. Out of love. I also have to say about 
Joey. I'm pretty sure that there's not another person on the planet that is more in love with the love of Marlena. That he is the biggest fan of them. And anyway, I wanted you guys to know about these people. They're very important and a part of today's celebration. There's one one other that I need to tell you about. I don't know if you know what gifts are. Some of these at this table I know probably don't know what a gift is. But um, I'm serious. Um, yeah, Jessica McVicker. That's, that's my good friend who took again screenshots and made gifts of Elena, gifts of Mark, and gifts of Marlena. And there's a whole page of gifts of them. They're fun. Throw them out there on your um, text messages or on your Twitter feed. It's fantastic. So there's a whole page of that. And there's a Facebook Marlena page out there as well. If you're a Marlena fan. And who isn't a Marlena fan? Okay. And then I also want to say hi to my Twitter best friend, Buttercup. She knows she is my best friend. All right. Um, check out the birthday cake. Danny from Goody's Cakery created this cake specifically for Elena, and it's a party in itself. So I want to give her a big shout out. Um, and you need to go to her website. Go to Goody'sCakery.com. You'll be amazed at all the cakes that she can do. Um, oh, I want to tell you something else. When you're a mother and your daughter's missing away, and they take her phone away, you don't get to talk to her, you don't know what's going on, and you're left back here, and you're just in the dark. Not to worry, because our house production, Sean Moss O'Neill, reached out to me on a weekly basis to check on me. She's running the show, she's helping to run the show, but each week she would make a phone call to me and the other family members of the other house guests, but only hear about me, and reached out to make sure I was okay. And I wanted to say shout out to her too because that was important. I got to meet her too at the cast party a week, two weeks ago. She called you too, didn't she? And um, I hugged her. I, I feel like I've known her forever. And I just want to say, Sean, if you're watching and ever come to North Texas, dinner on me and my husband. She's not watching. She might be watching. <laughs> I have cheese. Okay. For, well, I have one second. Sean is like lady boss bull. I want to be her when I grow up, right after I meet her. <laughs> Sean is pretty fantastic. Yeah, she is. All right. So now I want you to meet the co host of the party. Not just this party, but our two hour premiere watching party that we have. Um, I need Teddy and uh, Megan to come up. Woo! <laughs>
6 o'clock. I know you love it. Oh, and uh, be sure to eat and drink a lot while you're here and tip your white staff because that's the rotten thing to do. Um, and listen, there's a very good chance I've forgotten somebody in my Twitter world. Um, it was so funny as as I was as I was communicating with people on Twitter and my following grew. I, I would I would look over at my husband and I'd go, guess how many followers I have today? <laughs> It was just funny. It's kind of funny how it happened. But there's a, there's a lot of you out there that did special things that I want you all to acknowledge. I'm, I'm sure I've left somebody important out. But please forgive me if I did. Um, okay. okay. We're going to start the question and answer now. So what I'd like to do is start by bringing Mark up first. This is Alexa's boyfriend, Mark. physical competitor he's right but 
they were wanting to get me out and Mark out, regardless of the $5,000. We were friends with Jessica Cody. We were working with Jessica Cody on the low low, and that was, if they're public enemy one and two, we're public enemy three and four. And I knew that Alex was targeting me already. I knew she was talking crap, saying that I was shady and not trustworthy, and honestly, she's right about that, because I would have put her and Josh on the block and tried to backdoor Paul. But, um, at this point, I made more money than Alex in this game, and I have zero regrets. And I 100% would have been evicted had I not taken the $5,000, and now I just am $5,000 richer than she is. I sure hope your mom didn't watch late night. That's all I got to say. I don't know what you're talking about. Hi, Emma. I know you don't like Cody, but do you don't like Cody? We love Cody. We sometimes have to pretend like we didn't like Cody because, <laughs> because he was like the primary target in the house. We wanted to stay safe with the numbers. But if at any point Jess, Cody, myself, or Mark wanted an HOH, we were going to try to actually make a move in the house and not do like group think mentality, house agenda, house agenda. Um, but yeah, we love Jessica, we love Cody, we plan to be like lifelong friends with them. I love Cody. Everything, everything was your idea. <laughs> I'll thank Coach will do it for you. <laughs> Obviously pretty good. <laughs> hey, you guys over there? You do a shot yet? No? Okay. Next, come on, come on. Uh, we got one over here. What was it like sharing a bathroom with everyone? Okay, hold on. Robin just asked what it was like sharing a bathroom with everyone. I have a feeling we might be taking some questions with, from Robin because she's handling my live feed on Instagram right now. Um, not fun. Not the most fun. So there's one public bathroom in the house and it doesn't have a lock. So, as many times as I've seen Mark on the toilet, <laughs> also Jason walked in on me twice. So, yeah, it's not cool. The HOH bathroom's nice, so if you can, like, make a deal with the HOH to poop in their bathroom, it's always ideal. <laughs> you know what? Come here. Come here. How would you do? No, that was weird. No, they were always good. I always asked. Okay, Paxton, that was my brother. He asked how 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 the poop was, and that's because I asked Mark that at least four times a day. <laughs> and it's also a gift now. You're welcome to send that to your friends and family, coworkers, boss, your pastor, <laughs> whoever you'd like to send that to. Thank you. I I was very genuine and sincere in asking. I wanted to know. About his poop. Well, you run out of stuff to talk about. You still ask me. You know I'm concerned about your mouth like that. That very long time. Hey, Mark. I'm Ari. I'm Paxton's daughter. Uh, what was your opinion on Raven? <laughs> <laughs> What is your opinion of Raven? We're live. PG. <laughs> We're live. I think that Raven is a nice girl. <laughs> and I think that she might believe all of the stories she tells. She's a little bit delusional, but sometimes so am I. Sometimes I think I have a good hair day, and I'm not having one. So we all have our moments. No, for all the Instagram live that's watching right now, Pokemon Masters really finished six, so she's pretty great thank you for that. I don't have enough court. Okay, I'll yell. I'm Destiny. Is Mark moving here? Is Mark moving here? Woo yeah. <laughs> Hell yes. Yeah. I'm packing up my truck and I'm gonna drive down. Right here. I mean, I, 
that he was fun with Josh. Like he, he was like my little brother the whole time. He was just, he went too far sometimes, and it was just. No, it really was. He was very emotionally unstable. That's coming from me, who. Um, yeah, don't even go there. Don't even go there. I have my box of Kleenex for later. I'm give it that but yeah, so it was genuine. He really had no idea what he was doing with that. We like to call him, thanks to Jason, the, what does he say? Um, Non-violent psychopath. Yeah. Right, here we go. Great stuff, y'all. I'm Teddy. Um, my question is, what was uh, your favorite game that was like? It's like competition? Competition, competition game. Competition. Um, I mean, probably the wall comp, just because I kicked just so much ass and surprised all of y'all. And then, of course, I tossed the comp to Alex because that HOH would have been very irrelevant for me to win. Paul still was in the middle of his three weeks of safety, and I was still drinking his Kool-Aid and thought that he was great at the time, so I wouldn't have gone to him. The two people I would have put up in that HOH would have been Jason and Alex. They were the two left on the wall with me. So, um, but that was a fun comp just because I would know that everybody was shocked. Which he likes right now. Alright, here we go. There's a good one here. I went up to him and said, I hope we just move on. It was just a game. Yeah. He said, I don't want to talk That's about That's because this. you were way too nice. <laughs> well, I was just a nice person. I'm a teddy bear. I'm just a teddy bear. But no, we haven't talked to him since. Yeah, I don't think Paul wants to be our friend. I actually genuinely like Paul a lot as a human being and would like to be his friend. <laughs> but um, I don't know if he can separate games like that. Maybe, what's your question? So Mark's live feeders want to know what it was like to be a have-not. It wants to know what has been like. It, re yeah. it really wasn't that bad. The only bad thing about it was when she was and I couldn't sleep with her. So that's why I picked the key. Because I just, why? Because of gas? Why? Because of gas? Because I couldn't sleep with her. And that's why I got in a fight with Josh about it. Being a have-not sucks. I'm going to be honest. Flop is gross. Oh, Elena. Elena! Elena! Are you going to do any YouTube makeup tutorials? I mean, I could probably make some dreams come true if that's what the people want. Stick to that story, you're good. Okay, the next question is what was slop? Slop is basically the worst version of oatmeal. It, it was actually pretty good. Okay, it's disgusting, he's wrong. It, um, it tastes like, it's just like bad texture, no flavor, and you can try to add stuff to it to make it taste better, and then after three bites you're like, no. I will bet the entirety of my, the on this show to say that I ate less slop in my two weeks in a row of being a have-not than he did in one slot meal. Like, I just was like, it's fine, I'm fasting. I'll just pray instead. At least like, you want cereal. <laughs> oh, who said that? We don't just have our one little big brother bag, we actually get to have two other suitcases. Well, you can have your big one and a carry-on. Well, you have to unpack in the house. So no, I had a giant, enormous suitcase, courtesy of James Ludwig, and my big brother bag. So, it's still hard to pack for four months. I got one here. Go 
know, I broke down a lot. It wasn't because of self-love. Um, what was it? What was it because of? It might have been because of Elena once or twice. I feel like towards her. Maybe not. But, um, no, it wasn't bad. In the house, it was nice. It was in the jury house. It was awful. Um, in the, in the Big Brother house, you don't really miss your cell phone that much. Nobody else has a cell phone. You're there for, like, you're very intentional about your, your purpose of being here. You know, we want to win $500,000. So, it's up here as bad as I thought it would be. I I remember, like, missing my family was hard. It's kind of sad, but, like, the only time, I think one of the first weeks I was there, I jumped about, like, my friends and family. And I was like, this is the only time I get to hang out with like, my friends and family when I'm asleep. And then, of course, I started dreaming about Big Brother, and I saw no one else in my dreams. But... I know. And then I also need therapy. I'm pretty certain all of you guys are out to get me. Totally working in an alliance with me, but like going behind my back, like kind of backdoor me this week. Like I don't trust anyone. This is a problem. Okay, you're in. How long were you jury? So long. Four weeks. And how long were you in jury? Oh. And you know what? No cameras? All right. You guys have a good time. <laughs> they didn't give us alcohol. That's. Yeah, you are not lying. I know, on my birthday, I got one Coors Light, tall boy, and it was flat. In the jury house, me and Cody and the uh, two um, managers, house managers. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I was... Yeah, because he can't win shuffleboard, nor will he use a veto on me. <laughs> See, we, we haven't watched the show, so we couldn't know how he was portrayed. He was the amazing guy. Like, I love Kevin. He was funny. So all the stories that everybody asked me about, I have no idea because I have no idea how he was portrayed. We do love Kevin, but I did make fun of his duck face a lot. Okay, question. Yeah. I got one right here first, though. Oh, oh. oh God. Uh, PG. If we were going to set up a pay per view boxing match with anybody on House Brother. House Brother. Whatever it is, whatever the hell. Uh, who, who, who would you like to have a boxing match with? Or would you like to have a boxing match with? It's gonna be me and Josh. I would like to watch Mark beat up Josh. Woo! Yeah, I can do that. Who do I want to personally fight? They're all about love, not fighting. They're all about love. Give that guy a yeah, shot. I mean, I feel like Alex and Christmas and Raven all talk a lot of shit about these. We have an online, we have a uh, live team question coming here in right now. <laughs> How's Mark's cartwheel now? I can't hear you. <laughs> How is your cartwheel now? <laughs> really good. <laughs> Prove it. I think I nailed it. Prove it. I'd <laughs> like to see that. Prove it. <laughs> Hear that? He said he'd like a few shots. Shot. Vegas Bob. Coming up right now. If Josh would have taken Christmas to final two, who would have won Big Brother? Who would have won Big Brother? Probably would have been a toss up. I'll say this is that that's really tough. I was really counting on Paul winning the third, uh, third round of the last HOH and taking Josh to final two with Paul counting on the fact that. Josh because he was so hated by the jury. If if Josh and Christmas were in final two, I honestly think it would have gone down to how they answered our QA and what their final speeches were. I'll admit that I was actually very impressed with the way that Josh articulated his answers in QA and the way that he he gave his speech. So and he didn't cry. Finally, he did cry. So it just depends on what Christmas would have said. We wish they could have won an HOH and actually gotten Paul out of the house, but we still get HOH competition.
congratulations on being selected for BB19. Well, we're kind of not. We have become quite obsessed with all things Elena related and can't stop talking about you. Smiley face. It has been challenging, to be honest, to not talk to you several times a day, and I've cried just a little because I miss you so much. Crying face. But then all the excitement hits me again and I cannot contain my joy. How does a person have so many feelings and emotions all at the same time? Happy face. All is well at home. Lily, the princess puppy, misses you so much. Puppy slash crown. I talk to her about you all the time. I'm trying to keep up with the news, all the news around here to tell you when you get home. But mostly you are what is happening. So that is all I can think about. Heart eyes. I love that you're using emo emojis. That's so millennial of you. We're texting. We had an awesome watching party at the club for a two-hour premiere. Over 60 people came. Most everyone wore their Elena t-shirts we made. Hashtag Team Elena BB19. Hair bow slash crown. I saved one for you. Your young cousin Nolan loves watching you on TV. Yeah. He wants to get on an aeroplane to come see you in Los Angeles. It's so funny watching him watch you and you have to see him wearing his Elena t-shirt we made for him. Your grandmother turned 100 on Saturday, June 24th. Party popper. I have seen several pictures and it looks like she had a great time. Your dad plays his wash tub bass along with the band and then he got, got her on the dance floor. Man dancing, woman dancing. I know they missed you being there. But the family in San Antonio are so excited and are watching you also. I have mailed their order of Elena t-shirts too. I am beginning to understand how busy you were on your phone. Mine continues to notify me of text messages, tweets, IG posts, and Facebook posts of all the Insta public social medias. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Laughing face. I bet the first time you turn your phone on again, it will be insane. It might even blow up. I'm quite proud to see you adjusted to living without it. I went to your apartment realistically to pick up your mail, your laptop, and start your car. I drove around your neighborhood for a few minutes, and while driving, could not figure out how to turn up the AC fan to high. I did finally figure it out. It was cool, but not blowing very hard, and I got so frustrated. All I could think about was not being able to call you and ask you how to turn the stupid fan on high. Face was steam from nose. Then proceeded to cry. I love myself time to just miss you for a few minutes. After I got home, I checked the live feed, and there you are, sending a shout out to Eugenia. I believe the Lord's timing is perfect. It reminded me that you were thinking about me as much as I'm thinking about you. And I was. Good God, you're the freaking author over here. It's a novel. Okay. James and I have celebrated our 13th anniversary. I know you remembered it. I talked about it on the live feed. July 10th. Also, I haven't taken Lily back to the vet yet. Waiting until it's time to get her next allergy shot. She can get her teeth cleaned then. All your best friends are having a blast watching you on TV. That's you guys. Hands clapping. I have a part of some fun group text messages all about you. Anna and Seth are Facebook official. Red Heart. Mariah is moving to love it. I don't know where Mariah is. <laughs> Um, to go back to school, leaving the 1st of August. Delivery truck. Teddy and her group are back from their vacay in LA. Alcohol drink. With McKenna. Um, Megan is doing good, still working on her summer project. Man, woman. Your sweet pregnant friend Janae had her baby the end of July. He's a girl. Pink heart. Pink heart to heart. Aunt Jan and Uncle Stan laugh so hard about your POV competition, eating the disgusting food. I knew you would. Laughing with tears. That was so gross. I still have no idea how many times I gagged on television, but it had to be a lot. I told them that was why you came, came in down. Dead ass laugh. Well, probably because it took your time to choke down the delicacies. Green vomit face. Uncle Stan has wondered how the umbilical cord is stretched from Fort Worth to Los Angeles. Woman and baby girl. Now he's wondering how it's going to stretch to Buffalo, New York. Oh, Buffalo, 
laughing face. Uncle Brian, Megan, and I have conversations about the show every day. Where's Uncle Brian? And all your delivery drivers that know you sit and visit with us about you too. <laughs> I don't know why they're not here. Where's the UPS guy? I'm pissed. 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 We have reached the month of August. Happy birthday. I wish I could give you a birthday hug. So when the 19th arrives, stop, close your eyes, and smile, and believe that I'm squeezing you tight and kissing your pretty face. Birthday balloons, party poppers, dance girls, kissy face. I hope you're making good food choices. I knew you'd say that. Getting some fruits and veggies and not just chips and queso. Take your vitamins every day. Continue to play your game, stay smart, and have a blast on your summer vacation. Never doubt how much you're loved and missed by everyone back home, which is the most incredible thing that I have witnessed in the entirety of my lifetime. I can't believe you guys like me this much that you're here, and I actually did cry. I'm not a mannequin. I, of course, love you and miss you the most of everyone and anywhere in the world. Heart spent a thousand, kissy face times a thousand. I love you bigger than the sky. Mom, a.k.a. Hashtag Eugenia. <laughs> Sunglasses, cool face. <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to listen to me read this, but also, I've been waiting for this all summer. Apparently, I'm supposed to read this next, and it's not near as long. Darling Elena, happy 4th. I miss you so much. I think about you all the time. Everyone here is watching the show. My phone is blowing up. Anna says that she's in love. Megan says she's going nuts, but loves watching you on TV. Teddy says the brunch of bad bitches loves and miss you so much. Also, no one is pregnant. False? <laughs> It was important, I understand. Lily the princess puppy, and I love you so much. You look beautiful on TV, just a little fat. <laughs> she didn't say that, I've seen a couple things. Can't wait to hug and kiss you again. I'm so proud of you, I love you bigger than this guy. A million exos, mom and friends, but mostly mom. I did not get this on July 4th. Where's that? Now I'm feel Okay, I'm going to open my HOH basket, but I'm going to do it fast because I know you guys are freaking tired of listening to me talk. You've been doing it for four months. Paxton. My mom sent me a birthday card. Is it? Yeah? What is it? Oh, oh my God. Lily sent me a birthday card. It's a puppy with stuff on its nose. Dear Mommy, I miss you so much. I'm being a good girl at Mama Grandma's house. I've chased lots of buddies. I look at you on TV and I hear your voice and I smile. I'll be ready to cuddle you when you get home. You are my favorite person in the world. Do a good job. I'll smell you soon. Love you, Lily the Princess Puppy. That's so cute. My dog is the best. This is lucky. Okay, you guys, listen to this. Mark also has a lucky. And it's a Dalmatian though, right? Lucky, don't do that. Foundation primer, I knew that. Oh my gosh. Eyeshadow, hashtag what? Oh, I thought this was open. I was like, you really ate the video chip before you said this to me? They're crushed, but it's Julio's from San Angelo, Texas. Hell yeah. My face on a shirt, which is just a dream come true. My sports bra with 11 hooks that would have come in handy. I didn't have much support in that house from the house guests or my bra. Which is why I didn't wear them. Apparently I got a lot of hate on the internet about that. Sorry. Cheetos. What is it? Oh, that's so cute, Mom. You picked it out, didn't you? Oh. Magic chores! I'm so cute! Well, I get my hair off You get these out of my car. How tired are you guys of me being upstage? Is it boring yet? Okay, this is a necklace that my mom 
mom got after I was born from someone she can't remember, maybe my dad. Or her mom, sweetheart. Thank you. What is this? Oh, a fan sent this. I bet my face is on it. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. My face is for sure on this. And Mark. Okay. Wait, they want to open it. But Christy wants to see it. The card goes with it. Sorry. Stand by. Mostly it's just nail polish and then this is cute. Here's the nail polish I've been wanting all summer. I think it gives you the option to at the end because it won't let you when you click on that. Okay, now it's my birthday, sing. Thank you, Daddy. I 
I didn't earn it, but I got it. A brief guide to birthday etiquette. Fun, too much fun. I like that. Oh, this is from Trisha then. Okay, so apparently this basket is all fan mail, which I don't understand how I even have fans. I'm so excited you guys like me. This is really, really overwhelming. I cried a little bit. Totally broke my reputation being a hard-ass bitch. Um, I just can't believe that y'all are here for me. And I guess him. I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but I'm not going to make you guys open this with me. That's going to be a long, a long day. But thank you so much for being here. I also have a fan here that literally flew from South Carolina to meet me, and her name is Courtney. Can you believe that? She's super cute. Come here. Come on stage. This is Courtney, and I guess... For whatever reason, she likes me from day one. But I love her. She flew here from South Carolina and used her birthday money to come meet me. So, buy her a shot or two, maybe three. But then right after you buy her one, buy me one. Yeah, um, party on. This is it. Um, thank you for being here. I can't believe that you guys want to quit.